What's up everyone, it's The Munch, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon news discussion video. Today we've got a brand new trailer showing off some version exclusive Pokemon evolutions and a whole bunch of new features coming to Pokemon Sun and Moon that just look fantastic and I can't wait to check them out so let's get to it. Now before we get into these awesome version exclusives we have to talk about the fact that it was revealed in the previous trailer that Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are each going to be set 12 hours apart. This is amazing news because it's also been revealed that different Pokemon appear in the Alola region based on the time of day so if you're playing Pokemon Sun it's pretty much going to be whatever day or time of day it actually is and Pokemon Moon it'll be 12 hours ahead so usually if you're playing Pokemon Sun it'll be daytime if you're playing Moon it'll be nighttime it makes sense and it's a really cool change that they're making to the games that means that playing Pokemon Sun and Moon will actually feel really different to each other unlike previous Pokemon generations where it is almost the same game with just slightly different changes but of course like the previous games there will be version exclusive Pokemon and today we've got the reveal of the first ones here. So enough monkeying around, let's get to these version exclusives. And the first one we're gonna have for Pokemon Sun is going to be Passimian, the fighting type monkey. I'm not sure if it's actually a monkey or a lemur, but it's definitely some kind of simian or ape creature. We've actually got pure fighting type here with a brand new ability called Receiver. And it obviously has something to do with the ball that it's carrying. It's actually supposed to be like a rugby monkey. We actually saw in the Chinese leak so long ago go uh, mention of a rugby monkey and it's pretty clear that this is what it is so although it's not exactly playing rugby it does like to play around with balls a lot or rather berries as the Pokemon site actually clarifies that they like to lob berries at foes to attack and sometimes work in coordination with each other passing around berries basically sounds like they like to get together and monkey around a little bit and I've used that too many times now so let's move on to this Pokemon's very unique ability receiver which as the name implies uh, Passimian will actually receive the ability from his ally when it goes down as you guys can see here getting the levitate ability which is really crazy the amount of plays you could make with this Pokemon it seems like they're trying to up the VGC game a lot of course those are always double battles and we've seen a lot of abilities so far uh, new abilities in Sun and Moon rather have to do with double battles or helping out your ally more which is really cool because it's gonna make a lot of really cool plays that you can make with these new Pokemon. So that's about it for Passimian. Of course, this is a version exclusive to Pokemon Sun. So if you're playing Pokemon Moon instead, you will find yourself with the amazing Oranguru. Look at this beast of a Pokemon. Of course, it is another Simeon or ape-like monkey Pokemon. I know they're not monkeys. This is an orangutan, but all I see is Harambe, okay? And I know you just can't resist the dank memes sometimes, but this is actually an orangutan, Oranguru, a normal and psychic type. Its abilities are inner focus and telepathy, which aren't super noteworthy, but telepathy can actually work out really well, as you'll see in this clip. But you can also see he's got a signature unique move called Instruct, which is really, really powerful. It actually also has to do with your ally Pokemon, so kind of like Passimian would receive his ally's ability, Oranguru can actually instruct its ally to use the same attack again, which is really crazy that you can have this Pokemon just to set up another move again. Of course, in combination with a legendary or like an earthquake or even in this example they use surf which hits both people you can actually use it twice in a row for even more power of course I'm not the best when it comes to Pokemon strategy but I feel like this is a really good move and I'm sure some better players will be able to make great use of this power so what do you think of these version exclusive apes I think it's really cool that they actually made similar Pokemon but version exclusives and they're actually super different from each other especially being psychic and fighting type they're like almost opposites so let's move on to our next pair of version exclusives which I'm sure a lot of you have actually seen already but it is gonna be Rockruff's evolution Lycanroc so if you evolve Rockruff in Pokemon Sun it will turn into its midday form as you can see here super awesome looking still a pure rock type with the abilities Keen Eye and Sand Rush so pretty good stuff there I really like the design on this one obviously keeps a little bit closer to Rockruff um, you'll see when compared to the moon exclusive actually but I like it a lot actually. I'm not sure if we've ever seen a version exclusive evolution before. I'm pretty sure we haven't because this wouldn't have worked out unless we were playing Sun and Moon. So Lycanroc's midday form, 
really awesome. But of course, with the sun must come the moon as well. So here is Lycan Rock's midnight form, which is so awesome looking as well. The werewolf evolution that of course we saw so long ago talked about. I'm a little bit bummed out that it's not like a rock and dark type because it would have been really cool to have rock dark and then actually I'm not sure what this one would have been. Kind of just fits as a rock type. So I guess it makes sense. Either way, it has Kenai as well, but its secondary ability can be Vital Spirit, and it seems like this Pokemon works a lot more off of using counters. At least the Pokemon site states that Rockruff's Midnight Evolution doesn't even mind getting hit in battle as long as it gets to battle, he's just happy taking out his opponents, which is really crazy. I really like the difference in personality between the two Pokemon, and you can even see it in the artwork. We've got the Midday form, which is like the loyal trusty dog, and then we've got the Midnight form, which is like the rebellious young dog that wants to fight but will still respect you if you show it that you're a real G basically. So between all those version exclusives, I'm really not sure whether I like Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon more right now. Of course, I've always been about the power of the sun, and I've said I'm picking Pokemon Sun, but man, that Lycanroc Midnight form is looking really cool, and Oranguru actually, I think I like it a little bit more than Passimian, so Pokemon Moon might just be winning my heart with these version exclusives, but I'm still all about the sun. I love it, man. Praise the sun every day. Anyway, that does it for the new version exclusives revealed today, but I actually wanted to take this video and talk a little bit about the Pokemon from the previous trailer that I never got a chance to talk about before. I am, of course, talking about Type Null. Now, this guy was revealed in the previous trailer talking about the Ultra Beast. I actually just did a video about that a couple of days ago and talked a little bit about Type Null, but didn't really go into detail or what I think this thing is because as you all can see, it is a very, very unique Pokemon, normal type with the ability battle armor, but really the stats and all that don't matter right now. I just want to know what this thing is. Obviously, it's some kind of chimera, and you can clearly tell it's got like the tail of a Gyarados, these weird bug-like legs, and like a regular body. It's got a lot of Pokemon in there. I'm not sure how it was created, but the Aether Foundation has some kind of crazy way to fuse Pokemon together maybe through alchemy since that seems to be a popular theory in sun and moon as well i just can't wait to figure out what the heck is going on with all of this the weirdest thing of course is its name is actually type null and it is a real pokemon it seems to be with gladion that one team skull dude so i've heard a lot of theories that maybe um at one point type null was meant to be an ultra beast or they were trying to make an ultra beast but failed the experiment and became type null and then Gladion defected, left the Aether Foundation, and joined Team Skull with his Type Null, the failed experiment. I think it's a pretty cool theory, honestly, and might just be what Type Null is. But finally, we have the very cute little dragon, Jang Mo. I love this guy, not because he has Mo in his name, but because he just looks so dang cute. Its abilities are bulletproof and soundproof, which might tell us a little bit about what this little dragon might evolve into. I feel like he'll turn into a super tank, almost like a Bastiodon, but maybe a dragon type. So, could definitely see it becoming a steel and dragon type, but we just don't know enough about it to really tell. But, definitely looks cute. Another dragon type for the Pokédex, and the Alola dragon so far is looking pretty awesome. I'm talking about Drompa, of course. I still love that dragon. And this new little dragon is pretty cute, so overall the dragons in Alola are doing good. Finally is the reveal of Alolan Rattata and Raticate, which is just hilarious. I love the normal and dark type, and especially the mustache that he's got. Might have something to do with the fact that Rattata is literally Ratatouille. Even the Pokemon site says that they use it to like test out dishes. That is clearly a Ratatouille reference, and maybe he ate a little bit too much while cooking up in there because uh, Alolan Raticate's pretty thick. All of this ties back to the version exclusiveness, the whole thing of Pokemon Sun and Moon being set 12 hours apart, because as you guys can see here, even the trial challenges are gonna be version exclusive, as in Pokemon Sun, it turns out you fight Gumshoes. In Pokemon Moon, you will fight Alolan Raticate, which is really cool. I love that the games are actually version exclusive. Like, there will be a big difference between both games, because I mean, it's always cool to play along with a friend with the opposite version, but there was never really that much to talk about. Like, oh, dude, look at this. It's so different from your game. But 
Now there actually is, so let me know what you think of this overall. Do you like that there's more version exclusive stuff, or would you rather they be a little bit more similar? Because I know a lot of people don't want to have to buy both games, or have to trade too much with other people to get every Pokemon, but I feel like they're making them so different that it almost makes me want to play both games. Like, I will definitely finish up Sun, and then just start playing Moon right after, just to see everything that's different, and that's really cool. Like, Pokemon hasn't been able to do that before, and... Pokemon Sun and Moon are definitely switching it up. Now that actually does it for the new Pokemon and version exclusives revealed, but the trailer is not over yet, and it actually goes in showing off new features for Pokemon Sun and Moon, starting off with the character customization. Now you guys already know I'm a sucker for character customization. I love RPGs where you actually get to make your own character and go through a journey with a character you created. And in Pokemon Sun and Moon, this is more true than ever because you can actually take off your hat. That might not sound like such a big deal to you guys, but it's a huge deal to me. In X and Y, they had so much customization, but you couldn't take off your hat for some reason. You couldn't show off your beautiful locks of hair, and now you can do so in Sun and Moon. Just check out how many possibilities there are. It is insane, guys, and they even added dyes, so certain items of clothing are going to be able to be different colors. Like, you can have the same shirt, just switch the color. It is so crazy. I love it and I can't wait for character customization in Sun and Moon. Now the final feature we've got here is Pokemon Refresh, which is literally a refresh on Pokemon Ami from X and Y. As you guys can see, it's basically like Pokemon Ami, but with a lot of new features added, such as the ability to cure your Pokemon from status ailments. You can actually see here a Spearow being cured of poison, and then an Eevee being cured of paralysis, and it's confirmed that this is actually in-game, so like, if you're fighting and get paralyzed in a battle, you can apparently just go in to this Pokemon refresh and heal that right up which is really cool but doesn't matter man this is so cute you get to pet your Pokemon just like a me feed him something new called Poke Beans I don't know whatever happened to Puffins I thought those were pretty good but apparently now it's beans and apparently you can blow dry your Pokemon sometimes they get a little dirty you can get the dirt off groom them all you want this honestly seems pretty cool, like, I didn't play Pokemon Ami all that much aside from Evolving Eevee to be honest, but if there's a little bit more to it, then I think I might just try it out. Plus, you actually get rewards for playing this, uh, like your Pokemon will sometimes dodge attacks randomly or get critical hits more often, it's crazy. So let me know if you guys will be trying out Pokemon Refresh, I'm sure most people will at least try it out, but rather, do you think it'll actually be a useful feature or is it just to evolve Eevee. Speaking of Eevee, our final piece of news comes from this amazing Z-move, which I guess the Pokemon company doesn't want us to talk about because they keep blocking my video. So you can go check it out in the description, the full trailer. Check out that Eevee Z-move. It is so amazing though, so definitely check it out. All of the uh, Pokemon exclusive Z-moves actually have been super cool so far, so definitely want to make a video talking more about Z-moves in the future since I really haven't touched on it too much so far, but there's also a new Pikachu exclusive Z move, which is this thing. I actually forgot the name of it, but it's pretty cool. It's like a supercharged Pikachu electro ball and he launches it at the enemy. I'm really not sure about these Z moves yet. They look really, really cool, but the animation is so long that I really hope you don't have to see that in every single battle because yeah, I would not want to sit through that every time, but they look really, really cool. And I can't wait to try them out, to be honest. That pulverizing pancake from Snorlax is just hilarious, man. I don't know how I never made a video about that either. But, dude, these Z-moves are insane. They look really funny and they're really powerful too. So, can't wait for all of this new stuff that is coming in Sun and Moon. They're definitely switching things up, adding a little bit more new spice in there. And not just by putting more hair on Pokemon, which... You know, that was alright, but I really like the way they're thinking outside of the box in Sun and Moon so far, so definitely let me know what you guys think of all of this new stuff revealed today. I know it's a lot to process, especially with the dank Harambe memes going around for these two new monkey Pokemon, but I think they're both really cool. Rockruff's evolutions are amazing, and I can't wait for it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, make sure to hit that like button and show your support for the channel. We're almost at a million subs, so if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.